Hey guys, so I have decided to um, start weekly updates on metformin for PCOS. So I was researching um, about the subject, about metformin, the effects, um, how long people were taking it before they started uh, coming back on their cycle, and I was able to find a few videos, um, one video with two weekly updates, and after that there weren't any additional updates, so I thought I'd go ahead and provide some feedback on my experience. So I will start, have my little notes here, I'll start with a little background first. So I, me and Jordan, that's my husband, we have been trying to conceive since July, and I'll, I'll say August because July wasn't a full month. We got married July 21st. After that, we started um, trying to conceive. Um, if you're researching YouTube videos or anything like that, you'll notice that people use TTC as an abbreviation. I had no clue what that was, so I had to kind of try to, I don't know, use context clues, and I finally figured it out. <laughs> but anyway, so that's August, September, October that we were not able to conceive. And we, I finally decided to um, schedule a doctor's appointment, and that first doctor's appointment was November 3rd. She um, asked me a little bit about my symptoms, and instantly she kind of just said, it sounds like you have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, she says that I'm not a classic PCOS uh, person. She says usually they'll have chin hair, um, any type of extra facial hair. Um, she says that they'll have obsessive weight gain. If you want to know more about the symptoms, you can just Google it. That's what I pretty much did, but I didn't fall into the category, so I had no clue. And then the major thing was not having a cycle every single month. So basically, if you don't have a cycle, that means you're not ovulating every single month, which is what you really want if you're trying to conceive so you can have a better chance of, you know, having a baby. Fast forward to December, and I'm sorry I'm looking down, guys. I am looking at my notes here. So December, I had my first appointment, or my next appointment on the 13th of December. And on the 13th of December, she did a transvaginal ultrasound where um, she was able to look at my ovaries, and she described them as a strand of pearls around my ovaries. I know that's kind of classic. A lot of people hear that if you know, you have PCOS or have been diagnosed with that. Um, so basically, none of the follicles are maturing. They're just kind of there, and you need them to mature. One needs to be bigger than the other. Two needs to be bigger than the rest so that they're about to burst and release the egg. So um, because I'm not doing that, she decided, you know, hey, we need to start something so we can kind of intervene because I'm trying to have a baby and I'm trying to kind of speed up the process. My body isn't doing it naturally. So she describe or prescribes metformin the day after my appointment. Um, my husband went to the uh, CVS to pick up the prescription. So I started off taking 850 milligrams of metformin. And let me see. This is, I'll cover up my information. This is how big the bottle is. And I just kind of wondered, um, you know, why the bottle was so big, um, you know, because when I had my appointment, she said that she was going to start me off low, she was going to wean me on to the medication, and um, she also said that we were going to increase the dosage as we went on. So... To have this big bottle, I was a little confused, but I took it because I was, you know, eager, excited as anybody is to get my body regulated so we can go ahead and get this baby made. So within an hour of taking the metformin, I was very nauseous. Um, I just felt like I was going to get sick. I had eaten because I remember she said that I had to eat, you know, kind of a low carb diet. Um, so I went back to my chicken, my rice, uh, sweet potatoes, uh, broccoli, stuff like that. And I would say maybe, let me see. I also had a headache. I put that down. I had a headache. Um, I had loose bowel movements, about four of them. 
throughout the day. And the first one came maybe two hours of taking the medication. And mind you, this is 850 milligrams. Um, and I had to take two pills. So I had to take it twice a day. Um, the first one was around 10 a.m. and the second was around 6.30. And I was eating decent oatmeal, chicken, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, this is normal. This is expected. I did my research. I expect to feel these kind of symptoms. The next day, I woke up feeling like I had to use the bathroom. Um, and I took my first pill again around 10, 15. I did not feel like eating. Um, I still felt very nauseous. I still had a very bad migraine and I had, what did I have? Rice cake with like some preserves on top because I, I couldn't really even stomach anything else. So, um, um, so I was taking it for a week and then my head was hurting just every single day, I can't even describe to you the pain that I was in. Like, I felt so bad. My stomach, every day was the same symptom. My stomach, loose bowel movements, and a migraine. And it was to the point where one day I even remember clocking out from work early. Like, I have to leave work. I cannot stay on the phones. I, I, my stomach hurts so bad. Like, I just want to lay down and cry. And I literally did. And Jordan felt so bad. He was just like, well, maybe we could chew some gum. You could chew some gum or, um, you know, let's drink some water. Did you eat something? Let's give you a banana. And I was in the point where I was like breathing. I felt like I was having contractions. Like I had to breathe myself through the pain. It was so bad. So let's see what else we have here. There was one morning where I had really, really bad cramps. And I woke up at like four in the morning with the cramping. So I tried to make myself use a bathroom. I was like, well, maybe I have to use a bathroom because I was cramping. Um, so I started doing some more research because I was like, okay, I know this lasts for maybe a week, but I don't think the symptoms should be this severe. I don't remember anybody saying the symptoms were this severe. And um, when I say anybody, I was doing my research on YouTube, like I told you guys, and everybody said they kind of started off low. So I revisited the videos and I realized people were saying they took 500 milligrams. So I was like, okay, well, why did I start off so high at 850 milligrams? Maybe she's just trying to speed up the process because she knew how, you know, how, I guess, anxious we were to get started having a baby. So I called the doctor. I left a message on the voicemail. They called me back, and she says, did you um, not have the 500 milligram um, uh, metformin? And I said, well, no, we only got the 850. That's what the pharmacy gave us. I told them my name. That's all they had under my name. Realized that they never put in the prescription for the 500 milligrams. So I was taking the wrong dosage for a week. And before I even, or the day that I called the doctor was the day that I technically quit metformin. <laughs> so I was taking it for six days. And then that last day, I was like, you know what? I can't put myself through this. I'm hungry. I want to eat something. Uh, let me not, let me just rest on the pill, give my stomach a rest. So at least I can eat something and keep it down. So, you know, I don't know. It was just, it was, it was terrible. So then when she said that, I felt a little bit relieved because I had gotten discouraged. I wanted to stop. I did not want to continue. I started asking myself, is a baby really worth it? Like, that's really how bad it was. Um, maybe we should just conceive naturally. You know, there's always options for adoption. There's all, like, like, seriously, I'm just thinking crazy stuff because it was so bad. So I just felt like I was about to be taken out any day. So, anyways, she um, prescribed for me the 500 milligrams, so I will start taking that next week. Oh, let me also say this. I felt very bloated um, with 850 milligrams. I felt my metformin uh, update for week one. Um, it was terrible, basically. So, I'm hoping that because it was the wrong dosage, we'll have a better outcome next week with the 500 milligrams versus the 850 milligrams. Um... I don't think I'm leaving anything out. I hope I'm not. If I do and think about it, I will include it in week two video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.